Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So the movie I'm going to be reviewing for you is a Disney animated movie that I have never seen before, and that is 1986's The Great Mouse Detective. So in this movie, um, a toy maker is kidnapped, and Basil. Basically, the rodent Sherlock Holmes is put on the case, and it has to do with his arch enemy, Professor Radigan. So, Basil has has to figure out why this toy maker was kidnapped and rescue him. So, this movie is one of the ones directed by Ron Clements and John Musker. And they've done a lot of different ones. Um, but as far as the voice cast, the biggest name in this uh, cast is Vincent Price, who voices Radigan. You also have Barry Ingham, who voices Basil. You have Val Benton voices Dawson, basically the his version of Watson. And then an interesting name on here is the toy maker uh, Flabbersham is voiced by Alan Young. And when I was watching it, I knew the voice sounded familiar. That's because he's also the voice of Scrooge McDuck. Now, let's get into the movie. I'm mixed on this movie. Because on the one hand, I think Radigan is a very good villain. Because he's despicable, but he's also kind of deranged. And it's just like, it's somebody that, it's a character that you don't want to mess with. Along with that, I think probably Dawson is one of the better characters in this movie. And I like the villain's plan of what he's trying to do. And I think the story is, is pretty good. Now, as far as the negatives, though. And the, the first one it could just be because of how Sherlock Holmes is. But... Basil is very hit and miss of someone you want to follow and you want to root for. Because he has his moments of to shine, but then there's other times where it's just like he's not the person that you want to be following. And as far as a lot of the other characters, they don't get their moments. And what I mean by that is you don't flesh them out enough. It's only a 75-minute movie, and I understand. But there's some characters that you maybe would have liked to see a little bit more depth. And finally, when it comes to the villain, I while I like the plan, I feel like it's a plan that a lot of villains have. And it's just, it's kind of repetitive. Now, as far as the score goes, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I still th think it was a solid movie, but it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But if you enjoy my reviews, don't forget to like and, like and subscribe uh, for more content. But this was my review for 1986's The Great Mouse Detective. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fanzie signing off. Have a good night.